All right, everyone. Um, so I love graduated trestles. I like for uh, the trains to go up, over, and under each other. Um, so when I got my first set, uh, that was the first thing I did was get graduated trestles. Um, and I had no idea about grades or strains on the engine or anything like that. I just put together the Lionel set, spaced them apart like the instruction said, and ran the trains. And I uh, was talking to my supplier over at Legacy Station and um, down the street in Liberon, and the guy was saying that, you know, those trestles will ruin your engines. And I was like, well, why would Lionel make something that would ruin your engine? And he said, because they need repeat business. So I imagine after that one year warranty, those engines wear out running up these inclines and eventually you have to either get it repaired or go back and get a new engine. So I did the measurements and found out that real trains um, barely climb a 1% uh, or 1.5% grade. Um, the Lionel trestle set is a 5.75% grade. And even though the engines can climb them, the incline does uh, wear the engine out according to the experts. I haven't been in the game long enough to know or test that theory out and I really don't want to. So I immediately started thinking about how I could reduce the grade and the recommendation seems to be to get it down to at least 3%. Um, so I was like, well, in order to do 3%, I would have to spread the trestles out uh, from 10 inches to 16 and a half. Um, thank God I do have enough room in my layout to do that. But I was like, if I spread the trestles out, um, how can I keep the track from sagging under the weight of the train? So I was thinking about what I could do to create some type of support in between the 16.5 inches. And so um, I was thinking of everything from putting foam halfway in between, but of course I would have to measure each piece to make sure that it doesn't create uh, a grade higher than 3%. And um, I was like, man, that'd be tedious, a lot of work. And I really don't want to spend much more time doing a whole bunch of work. I want to spend time running the trains. Uh, so went to Home Depot to try to see if they had anything that could help me out. And I found these things. Um, I'm not sure what they their original <laughs> purpose is. Maybe some of you know who are builders and construction or whatever, but um, they measure about 18 inches and they have this kind of triangle support which is perfect because that means it, it resists bending and you know these little five pound trains definitely isn't enough force to bend this um and so they had these flat ends that would fit right underneath the trestles and uh so decided to try it out and uh they worked pretty good uh, ran the train over it and you can kind of see underneath there they provide perfect support um, underneath the underneath the track here in between the trestles. So it allows me to space them apart to give them that 3% grade. While at the same time keeping the track from sagging beneath it. And uh, these little things cost exactly one cent. That is right, at Home Depot, this thing costs one cent. I thought they were 35 cent a piece and went to the counter, rang, uh, rung it up, and they came out to one cent. My theory was if it didn't work, I could take it back and get my money back, and I thought that would be hilarious if I would actually try to take it back and get a 16 cent refund. I could see the return lady asking if I want that in a dime, nickel, penny, or all 16 pennies. 
but uh, it works and will allow me to get the grade I need to uh, keep from wearing out my engines. Awesome. Thanks, Home Depot.